Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Betsy Gulledge, and I'm the Chief Nursing Administrator for Nursing Programs and the Associate Dean of the School of Health Professions and Wellness. Welcome to our Fall 2020 White Coat Ceremony. Thank you so much for your attendance today. I would first like to thank Provost Shelton for joining us. I would also like to personally acknowledge Mrs. Carla Willingham for the hours of work that went into making today's event possible, as well as the Athletics Department for use of Burgess Snow Field and our IT, videography, photography services, and our JSU nursing ambassadors for their time and effort today. First, I would like to read some words from our School of Health Professions and Wellness Dean, Dr. Tracy Matthews, who could not be with us today. Students, as you begin your upper division coursework, you know the hard work it took to get here. You know that hard work will continue. You will certainly need to lean on your support network, but now your network has grown. The talented faculty and staff of JSU's nursing program is committed to see you succeed. They live by the JSU nursing mission, empowering exemplary nurses to care for anyone, anytime, anywhere. They will give you the tools that will allow you to be outstanding nurses. Be sure to capitalize on their expertise, compassion, and caring as you move through our program. I am rooting for each one of you and can't wait to see you walk across the graduation stage in a few years. Sincerely, Dr. Tracy Matthews. We are so excited we could finally deliver to students what we wanted to, a live in-person event. The White Coat Ceremony would not be the same in any other format, so we are thrilled to be here today. These events are important for students, but also so important for those that have helped them along the way. I would like to personally welcome each of you and thank you for your investment in each of these students sitting on the field today. Nursing school is a long journey. It can be overwhelming and stressful. Your support is an important part of their success. So thank you for being there for our students during their journey. We will now do our very best in empowering them to become an exemplary nurse that can care for anyone, anytime, anywhere. This cohort is indeed special. They worked extremely hard during the beginning of a pandemic to complete all required coursework for admission to upper division. They were sent home from school in March, not yet knowing if they could complete these requirements and uncertain what a pandemic would mean for their goal of becoming a nurse. Not only did they complete their coursework, but they are also an academically gifted cohort with an average entering GPA of 3.68 and an average ACT of 23. <clears throat> Once they were accepted to upper division, they were then beginning one of the most stressful parts of nursing school at the height of a pandemic. Accepting their seat in upper division showed great faith in JSU nursing, that we would be able to deliver a quality nursing program in spite of the many challenges we are faced with. Those of you that may be familiar with JSU nursing know that we do not shy away from challenges. We lean into them. If an F3 tornado and lack of a building did not get in our way, then a global pandemic certainly would not. That is because we have the most dedicated and ambitious nursing faculty and staff anywhere. 2020 was originally designated by the World Health Organization as the year of the nurse and how prophetic that was. We could have never imagined we would see nurses on the front line of a global pandemic this year. However, here we are and nurses have by no surprise risen to the occasion. We would like to recognize all nurses in attendance today. If you are a nurse, would you please stand and be recognized? The whole world now knows the importance of the nurse, so thank you for your service. And if you are a JSU nursing graduate, welcome home. I am so proud of our JSU graduates that are in practice, but most especially those that are new graduates, holding, holding their own during a stressful and uncertain time. And these students sitting on the field with me this afternoon will be no exception. They have already begun to rise to the occasion. They are thriving in an environment that changes frequently and have shown great dedication and fortitude in navigating an already difficult process. Today's ceremony will officially designate each of these students as entering the discipline of nursing and kick off the start of one wild ride. 
We will all forever remember this moment in time and the significance of becoming a nurse during a global pandemic is truly extraordinary. Now I'd like to introduce our provost, Dr. Christy Shelton. She was also our dean of SHPW, so she is nursing family, and we are so happy that she is here with us today. Students, you may be seated. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you so much for coming to join in this memorable occasion with us. I bring you greetings on behalf of our president, our new president actually, Dr. Don Killingsworth, who is cheering on the Gamecocks. I believe we play somebody in Florida um, today, so uh, or tomorrow, I think it's today. But anyway, um, I wanted to just let you all know how special today is and how special this group is. And first of all, I want to echo what Dr. Gulledge said and thank you so very much for selecting JSU to provide the quality nursing education to your students. And thank you students for choosing JSU nursing. I will tell you that we've been around a long time, as you well know, and the reputation is tremendous. The reputation is so significant and so impressive that we are sought out by hospitals, by clinics, by nursing homes, and by others to hire our students in many cases before they ever graduate. So that is what a true reputation really consists of, one that is landing you a job before you ever walk across the stage. So we're really, really proud of that and we are thankful that we have the opportunity to educate your students. Students, I want to just encourage you today and tell you that this journey will be tough at times. You will think sometimes, what in the world have you gotten yourself into? Uh, you know, anything else would have been much easier. But just know that you are about to embark on being a world changer. You are able, within your short shift, whether it's eight hours, 12 hours, in some cases you may be 16 hours, so it doesn't seem that short, but in that time frame, you are able to change lives. You are able to give hope. You are able to look at someone who is staring at the face of death and really help them understand what life is all about. You are able to be there for them at times when their families can't. And we know from what COVID has brought our way that many nurses have actually been the ones holding the phone, allowing family members to FaceTime others and FaceTime loved ones sometimes during their last breath. So the opportunity you have to truly change lives is before you, even in nursing school, because sometimes in nursing school, you can give more attention than you can when you get out. So enjoy every moment of it. I can't wait to see you walk across the stage either, and I'm so excited that you're here today for this amazing ceremony. Congratulations. The White Coat Ceremony was originally designed by the Arnold P. Gold Foundation as a way to welcome new students into the medical profession and to set clear expectations regarding their primary role as physicians by professing an oath. Today, the ceremony emphasizes the importance of compassionate care as well as scientific proficiency. The first White Coat Ceremony took place in 1993 at the Columbia University College of Physicians and Surgeons. Grants from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation in 1996 and 1997 made widespread advocacy of the White Coat Ceremony possible. Currently, a White Coat Ceremony or similar rite of passage takes place at 97% of AAMC accredited schools of medicine in the United States and Canada, as well as at osteopathic schools of medicine and at schools in 13 other countries. At the ceremony, students are welcomed by their deans, the president of a hospital, or other respected leaders who represent the value system of the school and the profession. The cloaking with the white coat, the mantle of the medical profession, is a hands-on experience that underscores the bonding process. It is personally placed on each student's shoulders by individuals who believe in the student's ability to carry on the noble tradition of doctoring. It is a personally delivered gift of faith, confidence, and compassion. 
In 2014, the Arnold P. Gold Foundation partnered with the American Association of Colleges of Nursing to provide support for a pilot program of the white coat ceremony at 100 nursing schools. The American Association of Colleges of Nursing is the national voice for baccalaureate and graduate nursing education. AACN works to establish quality standards for nursing education, assists schools in implementing those standards, influences the nursing profession to improve health care, and promotes public support for professional nursing education, research, and practice. We were very fortunate to receive one of those grants. Jacksonville State University's Department of Nursing was honored for the received grant funding for the first year of a pilot program back in 2015. The program was so well received, JSU Nursing continued the tradition as a permanent rite of passage for our nursing students. We would like to acknowledge the generosity of the Arnold P. Gold Foundation and the American Association of Colleges of Nursing for providing the gift of the humanism lapel pins to each entering nursing student participating in today's white coat ceremony. The white coat ceremony for nursing is evidence that nursing as a discipline and a profession now has a seat at the table of decision making for the future of healthcare. Nursing is acknowledged as a critical component of the healthcare delivery team and worthy of the recognition we have deserved for quite some time. Usually during the cloaking process, faculty will also pin the students, but due to our restrictions with COVID-19, students will pin themselves. They have already been given their pin, but they will be cloaked by faculty. We will now introduce our students as they come forward for cloaking. We ask that you hold your applause till the end and where we can all recognize them together. Bethany Adams. Chad Adcock. Marley Allawine. Presley Allen. Zachary Allen. Caroline Bagwell, Caitlin Bailey, Morgana Baker, Caroline Banks, Joshua Batson, Coley Battles, Grant Bivens, Keeley Bobbitt, Kaylee Boyd, Peyton Brasher. Kayla Brooks, Mackenzie Brown, Michaela Brown, James Burgess, Tyler Burke. Madeline Chafin, Cassie Chambly, Megan Colson, Lauren Cobb, Lauren Cochran. Brianna Colquitt, 
Samantha Cooney, Leland Ross Crowley, Kaylin Davison, Bethany Davis, Amani Debro, Ruby Dendy, Lacey Dobbins, Cordelia Dyer, Emily Eason, Kennedy Fagan, Amalia Francisco, Madison Gaskin, Emily Green, Caitlin Hall, Landon Haygood, Kana Henry, Nautica Hervey, Lindsay Holland, Kaylee Horn, Sydney Hubbard, Bragan Hughes, Brianna Johnson Cotton, Nathan King, Jerrica Kirkland. Audrey Lambert, Chloe Lee, Samantha Labello, Abigail Lombard, Blakely Malsey, Kate Maniscalco, Callie Mays, Emily McWhorter, Bailey Mines, Abigail Moore, Natalie Morton, Dylan Murphy, Mason Myrick, Cassie Padgett, Janal Patel, Peyton Pauls, Madison Payne, Sierra Pell, Cassandra Phelan, Hannah Pritchett. Elijah Province, Priya Raga, Kaylee Reeves, Amber Reed,
Sydney Reed, Ashlyn Reynolds, Kaylee Rhodes, Gabrielle Ricard, Kulana Rodriguez, Brittany Riles, Emily Ryan, Caitlin Schmidt, Emma Seaborn, Colby Sellers, Brock Schaefer, Emily Sheffield, Skyler Sharling, Abigail Scholl, Alyssa Smedley. Catherine Smith, Rebecca Smith, Jade Stevens, Savannah Stevens, Emily Strange, Gabrielle Street, Justin Taylor, Emmeline Thomas, Tori Thomas, Skyler Thompson. Janelle Tolentino, Briley Trammell, Haley Turner, Aaron Vance, Allison Wade. Kylie Weber, Tiffany White, Morgan Whitman, Eric Wilborn, Cameron Williams. Hayden Williams, Ansley Wynn, Catherine Young. Let's all take a moment and give them a round of applause. Y'all did perfect. So students, it is now time for us to recite the oath that is on the back of your program. Will you please stand? 
and we'll do this together. As a nurse dedicated to providing the highest quality care and services, I solemnly pledge that I will consider the welfare of humanity and relief of suffering my primary concerns, act in a compassionate and trustworthy manner in all aspects of my care, apply my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability to assure optimal outcomes for my patients, exercise sound professional judgment while abiding by legal and ethical requirements, accept the lifelong obligation to improve my professional knowledge and competence, promote, advocate for, and strive to protect the health, safety, and rights of the patient. With this pledge, I accept the duties and responsibilities that embody the nursing profession. I take this oath voluntarily with the full realization of the responsibility with which I am entrusted by the public. You may be seated. Let's give them one more round of applause. This concludes our ceremony, and before we all recess, I would like to thank you all for your attendance today. It was our sincere pleasure to host this in-person White Coat Ceremony event for our students. I appreciate everybody's patience with the multiple changes that had to occur to make this happen today. I wish each of you well and cannot wait to celebrate you once again at graduation. It's gonna be here before you know it. was just reminded I knew I would forget something um, I mentioned earlier that our students had were given their pins in advance which is why we did not pin them when they were being cloaked so students if you have not already pinned yourself pin yourself on the left left side lapel of your jacket And our hope is that when you get to graduation and you actually receive your JSU nursing pin that we will be able to do this for you at that time and students, you will recess after the faculty. Thank you all again very much.